Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Jabbering Magpie here, bringing you some more Shadowrun Returns. If you forget from last time, we were just battling some basilisks, and we've run headfirst round a corner and met two of them, which is going to be fun, 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 fun. Oh, and he's freezing El Duce. That's what you get for naming yourself after Italian fascist leaders. Well, we'll just sit at the side here and... Oh, wow! We polished one off in a single turn. Right, Mr. Tumnus, you move over here and start attacking Subject 1. Coyote here. Critical. This is the army of basilisks, I'm assuming the guy I was talking about in the previous episode. Though not much of an army, seeing as we've just finally polished them all off. Right. Now for a look around and see if we can find... Anything useful. Anything worth stealing. Nope. Nope. Nothing at all. Let's go get this scientist bod. Oh dear, this is a bit of an odd place to start the episode right at the end of a previous mission. But we do what we can. Ah, you're Mr. Sada. The scientist looks absolutely bewildered. Who are you? Why, why are you doing this? Are you Sada? What if I say no? Then you'll end up like then. Then yes, yes, I'm Sada. Wait, you're from as technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working for them. Well, whoever sent me is definitely interested in you. So that's it, you're just going to hand me over to them. Jesus, these people! Listen to me, whoever you are. I know I'm a wage slave, I get it, but I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? All you're doing is transplanting me from one corp to another so I can be an employee for life. Shouldn't I have something to say about it? Well, what do you want me to do? Let me go! Just walk away! What will you do? Run! Somewhere I don't know, but I shouldn't tell you anyway. Safer that way. Ugh. No, we need the money. <laughs> Uh nope. I finished what I'm paid for. Sorry, Mr. Sarder. Uh, this is the same text that we've had before. No, so I'm just going to give you some nice music. Da 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 Oh, and we're done. Lovely music over. But the wait appears not to be over. Okay, I've just done a hideous, hideous things for you, Mr. Johnson, so give me mon money, you absolute flange. Ah, oh, shit, and there was some pay data that I needed. Yep. And it wasn't a milk run. Well, that's why you get big, paid big bucks. Here's a cred stick. You find the uh, appropriate compensation is all in there. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Well, introducing someone to wage slavery is going to weigh heavily upon my conscience. Ah, who am I kidding? At least I got paid. That means, Mr. Tumnus, we can afford you a new chassis. Oh, Mr. Tumnus, you're going to look so smart. With your Steel Lynx style. Uh, 
Let me see here. There we go. Oh, Mr. Tumnus, you no longer float, but look at you, you've got a big cannon and a pointy eye. Ava, what's up? Got any gear? Wow, he really has good gear. None of it I can use. Hey, Johnny. Johnny is hunched over his desk, idly fiddling with Cyberdeck. He seems preoccupied. He looks up at you. Eyes narrowed. Been making new friends out there? Yeah, some guy named Baron Samedi wants to talk to me in the Matrix. Hmm. Sounds like you two have already met then, he frowns. Well, this Baron, he's been asking about you on the Shadowlands. Strange guy. Has a pretty distinctive icon. Skull face with a top hat. I can't tell you what he wants, but the guy seems pretty serious. I wouldn't ignore this if I was you. Deckers have a way of making people's lives miserable if they're so inclined. So, what do you know about the Baron? Johnny's janitor persona is gone, replaced by something colder, more dangerous. I did some checking, but didn't get much because he's new on the scene. He's no Wilson, though. Got a rep as a direct hot wire boy, from what I hear. Never rides along with a hit physical entry team, so purely remote mer work. So Medi's like a voodoo spirit, right? Yeah, that's the one. Sits at the crossroads of the living and the dead. Hmm. Think that has any significance? I've been running, or been around a long time, and I've seen a lo lot of avatars running around the tricks. A lot of them. If you ask me, it's just some guy trying to look scary to make a name for himself. Think of it as personal branding. How long's he been looking for me? He's been spamming Shadowlands for the last hours. I'd say he's new on the scene, but everyone's talking about him. Even the hottest deckers like Dodger are saying he's a force to be reckoned with. Guess he's not the patient type. Something I should know? Could be. I'll tell you after I talk to him. What's the Shadowlands? Well, that's where the Shadow community goes to talk about anything shadowy. Who's paying what projects, who's hiring, which corp is screwing rich, anything that affects shadow runners and how they make money. It's where I got to see if I could pick up any dirt about you. Know anything about giant magical indestructible bugs? Is that a joke? Nope, saw one underneath Universal Brotherhood an hour ago. Bigger than a troll. What do you mean, indestructible? As in I couldn't kill it? Whatever it is you've gotten yourself into, Mags. You're in it deep. From what I hear, the Brotherhood has members in high places. Government, corpse, lawyers. Law enforcement. You be careful, chummer. That's enough talk. I need to talk to a Baron. Okay, you can use my secure jack point. I've got to set up a portal to a Shadowlands. Feel free to jack in whenever you're ready. Let's do this. Bonsoir, mon ami. I am pleased that we can have a semi-private conversation. You must be careful with tour guides like your friend Johnny, though. You cannot trust everyone you meet in the Matrix. Everyone on Shadowlands knows you're looking for me. Why the spam? Samedi wishes to thank you for saving Marie Louise from the Universal Brotherhood. The girl is quite precious. If harm were to come to her, he does not know what he would do. He also offers you his help. The insects you encountered. They are something, no? Something dark to ignore them would be a folly. There is much at stake. Somebody knows you are after this woman, Jessica Watts, for your own reasons. He can help you get to this woman and defeat her bugs. And hypothetically, how would we do that? The job will not be simple, nor will it be straightforward. But Samadhi can guarantee it will be dangerous. Telestrian Industries has been working for two years on a formula code named Aegis. They are working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. This is the third attempt to get it right. They believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Unfortunately, the manufacturing plant in the Columbia Valley was recently blown up. It could have been corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is that a large sample of the formula survived. 
Uh, what does this have to do with Jessica and Universal Brotherhood? We want Aegis because it kills bugs. Big ones. Like the one you met at the Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there and bring the Watson into justice, you need Aegis. And as it happens, Samedi knows where the last sample of Aegis is being kept. Hence the job at hand. We are going to break into Lestrian Industries, primary operations office complex here in Seattle. Aegis will be somewhere within the building. We will find Aegis sample and liberate it for ourselves. Hmm. You want me to break into the most influential corp in the Pacific Northwest? You've got to be joking. Would that I were, but it's the only way. It's the only place to get what we need. But take heart, you will not have Samedi with you, and he is clever in ways of the Matrix. We cannot lose. So what will you do? Will you ally with Baron Samedi? I've got a few more questions first. The Baron understands the need for information all too well. Ask what you will. Uh, why not let Telestrian take care of it? Sounds like they're already halfway there. Telestrian, do not talk to me of Telestrian. He is an executive, a businessman. Do you know what his reaction was to the he learned of the insect threat? He called a meeting. He and his associates will be debating action forever. Lone Star? How about them? The Universal Brotherhood's connections, high level connections in government and in Lone Star. And their message resonates with those who need something to believe in. We have no proof and we have no time. We must act. Uh, how do you know all this about Aegis? Because Samedi has personal connections into James Telestrian's affairs, you see. He knows. I really want to know about you first. Who are you really? What is there to know? Baron Samedi is gifted, you see. He is born to walk. He was born to travel the Matrix, binding it to his will. Who is Baron Samedi really? What is the difference? When a clown removes his paint, he is still a clown. But in disguise, no? It is only that he is painted that people applaud. You never explained how you and Mary Louise knew each other. Oh, we, oui, that is true. And it is uh, for her to say, not Samedi. He has nothing to lose, while she... Uh, you must ask her. Alright, then. Alright, I mean, if these bugs are as dangerous as you say, someone's got to save the world. Guess it might as well be me. Ah, <laughs> bomb. Balance the media applauds you. We do this job for the right reasons, eh? Samedi will be part of this evening's events, but must remain remote. He will keep all Seattle law enforcement and off-duty Telestrian security away, while you locate the information we need from the inside. And what about on-duty Telestrian security, the ones who will shoot me as soon as I step into the lobby? <laughs> the Baron will handle that as well. Telestrian guards will be rerouted throughout the building. With the right timing, no one will know you're even there. But of course, even Baron Samedi cannot anticipate possibilities, so tonight you must use your contacts to hire a team and travel to the Telestrian office complex downtown. You will be contacted again when you have gained entrance. Au revoir! Oh, you fucker. Johnny whistles a long, low whistle. Holy crap. Telestrian Industries. You've hit the big time, chum. If you need a second decky, you might as well take one of the best. That means you, right? He sighs. Nah, I'm not an inside man anymore. My running days are over. There's an elf who owes me a favor. He goes by the name Dodger. You might have heard of him. He's one of the best deckers in Seattle. And this is me saying it. I'll get you his contact information. You'll know him by the way he talks. Like he's in a damn Charles Dickens novel. Alright, let's go hire a Dickensian Decker. Anybody got anything to say? How about you, Fry, my friend? Nope. Right. Right, 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 right. To Mr. Delilah. Ah, I need to put a team together to hit the Telestrian office. 
Who have we got? Dodger the Elf. Hmm. And the Nephilim Network. Utility Man. Levi the Weapons Master. We will have you, my dear friend. Oh, you're free grand. Um, and Coyote. We always got to take Coyote with us. Okay, Coyote, Dodger, me, and Levi. The dream team. Let's hit Telestrian HQ. This is going to be fun. Telestrian Industries. The sleek contour of Telestrian Industry building slices through the Seattle skyline, gracefully arcing towards the south, towards its birthplace, in the elven nation of Turn Tangier. You stand at the lobby entrance waiting for some Medi's go signal. The moment extends. Stepping over a corp fresh is, is a little like stepping into a foreign country, or over a line. Corporations have a power so far above the average citizens. The assaulting one seems insane, like threatening the gods of Olympus. Land owned by a multinational is corporate soil, exempt from domestic laws. Employees aren't state citizens, they're corporate citizens, and the top execs can't be brought to trial for some alleged crime. The runner who goes full frontal on a corp is making a statement, making a name. Free chirps on your comm link. It's go time. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's, uh... Kit ourselves out to fuck, as the young kids say. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. No, I don't want to spend my karma just yet. Your comm link chirps and the face of Baron Samedi fills the screen. Together again, mon ami. You and Samedi shall do great things this night. Great things. Yeah, we're gonna shake the pillars of heaven, buddy. Sarcasm should have no place between partners, eh? Let us be professional. The way you professionally hacked my comm link. Point taken. Super play, but we must be pl friends. We are allied, you and Samedi. So what now? These things are easily overcome, be assured. As you were told, there are some tasks that only you can do from inside the building. Just as there are some that Samedi must do from his remote location. We must coordinate our actions, that is all. Boldness and a clear head will win the day. Storming the front desk doesn't sound bold, it sounds insane. Do not be so negative. Samedi has rerouted the guards in this section of the complex. The course should be clear for you to navigate to the accounting offices. Bon chance! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's actually quite a good place to leave it here, because we had a rather long episode last time, so a uh, bit of a shorty today. I hope you enjoyed that, and you will join us next time when we are attacking Telestrian Corporation to steal some Aegis formula to kill bugs. But for now, I will bid you au revoir, and a good old-fashioned tatty-bye.